Hi, Adam Moreno, Senior Director here at Citrix. Uh, wanted to talk to you real quick today about some of the changes we've made to the new Citrix developer uh, community. We've made a pretty good investment over the last few months and wanted to give you a quick overview on some of the new things we're doing with the Citrix developer community. When we sat back and we kind of said, what are we going to do to really you know, enhance the experience that the developers with our community get, we kind of focused on these pillars. Number one is we want to make sure everything that we're putting out there is really key towards a developer. How are we adding value to you as a developer, the developers in your organization, and really making sure that we understand what they're looking for. Uh, number two is content. When we looked at the content, we felt one of the most important ways to drive more community involvement wasn't simply to just say, here's an API, figure it out, but include new examples, include problem spaces that you can help solve with an API, and then follow up the actual definitions of the types of problems that you can solve with Citrix SDKs with some actual sample code that uses the APIs. <clears throat> the support, we did a, John on our team did a great job setting up a new set of forms. What you're gonna see in the new developer forms is kind of a new twist. We still have an area out there for support, so if you wanna ask questions about using APIs or error codes that you're getting, you can still reach out to the community and get support. We've added a new ideation section too, where Citrix internal developers and some of our CTPs have actually donated sample code that they've written to solve problems to help jumpstart you and thinking about what you can do with some of our new APIs. And we're looking for your examples to come back as well. So as you generate a great new idea with one of the Citrix APIs or SDKs, share it with the community. It really does become a great way to spark interest and ideas for the other community members to do more with Citrix as a platform. Uh, exposure. If you do something cool, we're going to promote you. We're going to go out and do an interview with you on YouTube. Uh, we're going to tweet and socially you know, expose the great work you're doing with the APIs. You know, the more we can share what you're doing with these APIs and SDKs, the more you're going to be able to help your fellow community members. And the last section is understand your audience. It's developers in this case. Um, we have an inside saying on the Citrix developer team that the new Citrix developer website is a marketing free zone. So we're not going to be selling you everything else. If it's not relevant to a developer, you know, it's not going to be out there. It really understands all of the members of the Citrix developer uh, team we're former developers, and we understand what you do and what you don't. We're not going to sell you. It's a developer site. It's that easy. All right. Four key new areas in what we've rolled out here at Synergy. The first area is the website. The key to the new website that we put out there is one specific goal. Help you find what you're looking for as a developer. Help you find the SDKs, where to download it the documentation, license keys that you might need. You know, anything you need is a one-stop shop. You don't have to search all over, all over the place anymore. Hey, Kurt. You don't have to search all over the place anymore. You can actually find everything at developer.citrix.com. All the SDKs are there, all the documentation, FAQs, links to the forums that we just talked about, links to the new YouTube channel that we're putting together with these types of videos. So. Key number one, if you can find developer.citrix.com, you can find everything you're looking for as a developer with Citrix. Spot number two, new support forums. Like we said, we'll drill down on this. We have a new twist on it, and we've made it easier for you to access the forums. I'll show you that in a second. Socialize, a new YouTube channel. This is under construction. All of the Citrix developer theater sessions, like this one, will be the initial content on the new YouTube channels. Initially, we're gonna have a playlist for every single product that Citrix has SDKs for, and as specific SDKs and API sets become very relevant and we get a lot more information, we'll split off a new playlist. Uh, looking for your support, submitting videos to us, and you'll see a lot of videos coming from our internal team as well. And the last part I want you to do, follow Citrix developer on Twitter. This is how we're going to be telling you about new content. Uh, community member submits a great new example. We're going to tweet it out. This is how you can keep in touch with what's going on, stay active with all of the new content. <clears throat>
you know what I'm actually going to do at this point is rather than PowerPoint you to death, this is a developer forum, right? Let's go live. No PowerPoint. So let's call this a day in the life of a new Citrix developer, all right? One of the first things that we talked about handling is how many times did you go to Citrix.com, I'll look at Kurt back here in the audience and say, man, I'd love to be able to download an SDK from Citrix. You go to the Citrix page and you say, I'm gonna register for a Citrix ID, and it says, your company already has an ID. Go find the guy, he'll tell you what it is. Who's that guy? Kurt, am I right? So that's one of the first things we did is we're trying to make everything easier for you to get access to, all right? So if you don't have your own personal My Citrix ID, or if you want to give an ID to your IT guys who need access to the PowerShell scripts and things like that, we're making that easier for them to be more productive without having to expose them to all of the other corporate data. <clears throat> From this site, one of the first things you might want to do is register for a new Citrix developer account. Here's how we show you how to cheat. Okay, you want to get around the rules? Click the button down here, and now we're actually showing you how to do what maybe our guys don't want you to do. Simply use dev, space first name, space last name, as the company name, and that enables you to get your own independent Citrix ID, my Citrix ID. So once again now, really the reason we did this, it's important for independent developers or developers within the organization who may not know who owns the corporate ID to get access to this type of data very quickly to stay productive. Thanks, Kurt. All right. The next part I want to show you on here is the way we've kind of organized the new Citrix developer site. It's organized very simply. Um, figure out which product you want to look at SDKs and APIs for and you'll simply start drilling down into the next level information. Uh, for this example, let's pick uh, Zen Apps and Desktop. You go to Zen Apps and Desktop page, if you're new, we give you a quick overview of all of the key APIs, SDKs, and tools associated you know, with that environment. For this one, I'm actually gonna use my buddy here's uh, John's area, which is, he's really great with the PowerShell SDKs. You even see here we have some an older one because we still have a lot of people using 6.5 PowerShell and the new uh, 7.5. So we'll click in here, and what you have at this point is actually a page dedicated to that SDK. Uh, latest updates, you know, kind of an overview. Each team kind of has their own uh, way of advertising what they have available in their SDKs. Every SDK page has a very similar format. Uh, when you click on the bottom, you can click on the SDK documentation. We'll link you right into the documentation associated with that SDK. No more Google searching to find out where everything is. It's all directly linked off the page. Uh, exchange forums, download the SDK. Download buttons there on almost every one of the pages. At this point, if you have to get prompted to log in to download it, you can use the new uh, My Citrix ID you got earlier. <coughs> The other area, again, that we talked about, every SDK page has a direct link into the support and ideation forum. So in this example, before I change this page, is, I think it's one of John and I's favorite buttons, it's ping the PM. So if you have a request you'd like to submit to the PM team for the product to say, create an API that does this in your SDKs next time you do them, you can click this button right here and we'll actually send an email right to the product PM owners of that product that you can give them direct input on what you'd like the APIs or SDKs to do. We'll go to the forums. And you'll see again, the link from the developer website will take you right into the forums. Forums have a very similar architecture layout where it's high-end form followed by product followed by a page for each SDK in the forum. And you'll see out here again, you have the ideation section and you've got the support discussions. Real important is when you start using this area is if you really just have a question about um, how an API works or something like that, use the support forums. If you've got a great new example of a problem you've solved with the APIs or the SDKs, put it in the ideation forum section up here. All right, keep it separate for us. Um, going back to the initial page, 
link to the YouTube channel. Like I said, we're going to have that filling up very soon with all these videos right after uh, Synergy is done. Right now, it's kind of more of a work in progress. And at the bottom, we're looking for your input. We have a survey that we're running, and we'll keep updating over time. Go out and take the survey. Give us your basic insights as to what you're thinking about the SDKs, how we can make it better uh, in general. And this URL will stay the same, so it gives us a chance to update the survey over time. All right. So given that, I thank you for your time. I hope you found the overview of the new Citrix developer update helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in the community.